हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक दिस इज मौलिक अग्रवाल एंड यू आर लुकिंग एट वेज टू स्टडी थ्योरी सब्जेक्ट्स एंड कीप देम इन माइंड व्हेन यू नीड देम पीपल ऑफन से आई लर्न एंड अंडरस्टैंड द थ्योरी टॉपिक्स बट आई फॉरगेट देम टिल द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग वॉट शुड आई इवन डू इज दिस समथिंग यू ऑल्सो कंप्लेन अबाउट ऑफनली what if i tell you that it's not your fault at all and it happens to everyone yes there are many scientific theories and reasons as to why this happens but the main point is not this we have to find a solution on how to study theory subjects effectively imagine giving a professional exams like ca or mba cat anything practical subjects can be easy if you know the concept but the challenge comes in understanding how to study the theory subjects in ca or in cat or in law or in anything because you are giving a professional exam you are expected to present your answers well you are expected to write complete answers use proper words that describe the concepts so are you curious to know what the toppers do that helps them score high marks in theory what's the best method to learn theory for you Well I am here to share five tips on how you can study theory subjects and can also remember whatever you need during your examinations Number 1 learn concepts learning keywords in theory subjects is important to score good marks but first you should focus on understanding concepts then after you understand the concepts you should focus on the main words number 2 read aloud whatever you are studying read it aloud this method is effective in theory because it uses multiple senses of our body for example when we read in our mind only our visual senses are attentive but reading theory aloud activates our visual and hearing senses and we are also speaking simultaneously so next time you study try out this method as well moving ahead to number 3 right to learn one of the oldest tricks in the books yet the effective one we say old is cold after reading the text write down what you have learned either by solving questions or making notes it bring us to a next smart study tip of for exam for our exam summary notes that is self made notes a clever way to save time is to make notes for every chapter by yourself make notes during the class and just after the class quickly write any information that is still on your mind but you couldn't write it earlier then go over your notes quickly after it use these notes for your revisions it helps in the first quick revision so that your mind can retain information for longer moving ahead to number 5 revise revise and revise there is nothing that beats the space revision techniques for learning theory subject we have learned we have seen practice makes a man perfect but if we talk about theory revision makes a man perfect as we said earlier your mind tends to forget things quickly so you must revise it repeatedly to reduce the forgetting effect now most of you will have a valid question how often should you revise The recommended revisions are the first time should be just after studying it the second revision should be within one day third revision should be in one week and after that do the next revision in one month and finally revise once in 3 months your mind remembers when you go over a topic again and again that is why regular revisions are recommended well moving ahead to the next point take breaks in between You must have heard of this popular technique before but do you know why it's so effective once you take a short 5 minute break after studying for 20 to 25 minutes the zig arnick effect occurs 5 minute break every 25 minutes is called the pomodoro technique you must feel frustrated to leave a topic in between but it's actually a good thing the zignaric effect is the tendency of a brain to remember unfinished task so in or information better than the completed task so next time when you're taking a break don't panic and get yourself some healthy snacks or relax and the last one but the most important one set milestones and reward yourself for motivation instead of doing a chapter at once you can set in milestones your mind will not have the pressure to learn everything at once 
after every milestone you will feel motivated and your mind is distracted and does not want to focus on theory because it is least exciting thing but to motivate and push yourself to concentrate you also need to reward yourself for example you decide to watch a live cricket match once you complete a chapter hence you have set a milestone but while studying your mind will be motivated to complete the chapter so that you can get the chance to watch a game you can reward an interesting thing and motivate yourself i hope guys ye video aapke liye helpful hoga and jaate jaate ek baat aur bolunga ki covid ne हमारे पूरे देश में हमारी पूरी दुनिया में एक नया एरा क्रिएट कर दिया एजुकेशन का एंड अब स्कूल एजुकेशन से ज़्यादा सेल्फ एजुकेशन ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है बड़ी बड़ी कंपनीज लाइक गूगल एमेजोन दे आर लुकिंग फॉर पीपल हु आर वेल स्किल्ड सो नाउ इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू ब्रश अप आर स्किल्स एंड द टीम ऑफ स्किल बस हैज़ मेड इट ईजी फॉर यू ऑल बाई प्रोवाइडिंग ऑफ कोर्सेज I've shared the link in the description do check them out and do not forget to subscribe our channel keep watching stay safe stay home and be healthy thank you